Hello, and welcome to Tap Dance Tuesdays, where we talk tap dance for two minutes every Tuesday. My name is Andrew Nemmer, and we're coming to you from VanTap Studios here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Today, we're talking about how the weight of our shoes affects our dancing. Uh, there are lots of different shoes out on the market for tap dancers, from uh, kind of introductory level shoes to more advanced tap shoes. As we get to the more advanced level shoe, they often get heavier. Um, however, not every professional tap dancer has always enjoyed a heavy shoe. One uh, notable exception is Chance Taylor, who loved a featherweight, super, super light uh, shoe for the kind of dancing that he explored. Now here is uh, the two things you need to know about the weight of your shoe. One is the distribution of the weight of the shoe affects how your foot dangles. So, especially if you're looking to develop a loose ankle technique, how your foot dangles uh, in the air can be affected by the weight of the shoe. If the front of the shoe is heavier, the foot's going to dangle further down. If the front of the shoe uh, is light or if there's no weight in the shoe, relatively little weight, uh, your foot's going to dangle kind of wherever it normally dangles, depending on the uh, tension in your muscles. So the best analogy uh, I have is that of a saxophone player. Saxophone players have reeds. The reeds are numbered. The higher the number, the stronger the wood, the more breath uh, you need to blow through the horn to get a tone, but the larger and kind of rounder the tone is. The weight of a tap dancer's shoe affects the tone because it helps or hinders, depending on the strength of the foot, uh, your striking of the floor. And that's two minutes.